everybody, welcome back to the tour vlog. I'm Lana Eagleton, currently out on tour with Black Veil Brides, playing the beautiful Palace Theater today here in Louisville. Uh, really gorgeous venue, one of my favorite theaters in the country. Really excited to be playing here today. And uh, yeah, we're currently in the middle of our US tour in the midst of a 17 day stretch with no days off. So it's been a pretty busy schedule. Uh, they're working us hard here, but we love it. Reason being is that our new record, The Phantom Tomorrow, just came out last night, actually. So we've been pretty busy. Uh, any day that would normally be a day off from the tour, we've been scheduling press and interviews and extra stuff just to help with the promotion of it. So yeah, it's been pretty busy, but uh, you know, it's very exciting at the same time. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me here in episode three, and big thanks to everybody who watched episode two, uh, our Aftershock vlog when we opened for Metallica. I was really happy with how that one turned out. That was an excellent show and I really enjoyed reading your comments underneath that video. But yeah, Palace Theatre here today, and I wanted to make a point of vlogging this show in specific on the tour, because I actually played here five years ago, almost to the day when I was on tour with Sean Hook, uh, opening for Lindsey Sterling on my first ever US bus tour. And that was an amazing tour, and it's so cool to be back here today, uh, five years later, playing with Black Veil Brides. You know, it's really neat when things kind of come full circle like that. Anyways, this venue really left an impression on me when I played here the first time. It's just so beautiful inside, and I can't wait to show you right now. So let's go check it out. Back here with John, Guitar Tech. Uh, yeah. What are so you working on here? Today I swapped out the strings on Jake's guitar for the C sharp tuning. Got it, uh, got it all polished up, cleaned all the frets, made it all nice and shiny, so it looks good on, good on stage and reflects the lights and nice. stays in tune and all that fun stuff. Right on. I mean, he's been playing this one pretty much the whole tour, and it's still, you know. It's gotten some more wounds, but overall it's still in pretty good shape. Yeah, I like these Schechter guitars, they're pretty sweet. Nice. Schechter or PRS? Yes. You had to choose. Uh, well. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Yes. My answer is yes. Nice. That's a good <laughs> answer. So I play PRS. The other guys in the band play Schechter. It's a constant debate between us, so. PRS has seemed to be a little more expensive. Yeah. Um, but you know, they're, that's because they're better. They're they so, are nice guitars. I know. Let us know in the comments which one, which uh, brand you prefer. Let the war begin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just gonna show you the bases that I'm using on this tour. So I'm using two different bases. Uh, first one, PRS Kingfisher, uh, gloss black, custom finish, custom eagle knob. This one is for drop B tuning, right there. And uh, yeah, string gauge, we got 55 to 110, and the 110 is replaced with a 130 to compensate for the drop tuning. And uh, yeah, so if you look at the set list here, this is used in the first half of the set. So this is all drop B, which this bass is used for, and then we switch here, everyone switches guitars to drop C sharp for the second half. So this is the B bass. Oh, I'm breaking it. And then this is the C sharp bass right here. So this is the same bass, PRS Kingfisher, just a different finish. This is the flat black version of the same bass. Uh, we got 50 to 105 gauge strings with the 105 being replaced with a 125, I think it is. Yeah, so yeah, drop C sharp there. 
And uh, yeah, you know, I love these instruments. They they sound great to me. They, they feel super awesome. So shout out to PRS for the awesome basses. Uh, both are equipped with Sennheiser EW500 wireless units. And uh, everything's running through the camper profiler right there. So that's the rig. All right, so I made it up to the roof of the venue here. Um, pretty cool up here. Not sure if I'm supposed to be here, but we'll get the shot anyways. So uh, a lot of neat stuff has been happening lately. Um, our song Crimson Skies recently just cracked the top 40 in American rock radio. So pretty excited about that. Uh, it's the second single from the album so far to crack top 40, uh, Scarlet Cross being the first. So that's, uh, that's always cool when that happens. Um, apart from that, uh, in a couple days we're flying to New York City. We're doing a record store appearance. So we're like doing a signing inside of a record store uh, in New York. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, a lot of new stuff has been going on, you know, it's always an exciting time when a new record comes out. There's always a lot of cool stuff that tends to happen uh, as far as promotion goes and, you know, whatnot. Hopefully, anyways. And we've been really lucky to have a lot of that happening to us uh, this time around. But uh, yeah, anyways, gotta go back into the venue now. We're sound checking soon, so uh, we'll see you at Soundcheck. Yeah, this is sick. Like a museum. Yeah. CC, it's so yeah. cool in here, eh? I know, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, this is. Yeah, this might be like one of my favorite ones. I just, I just raised the seat. It's all right. I just lifted the seat a little bit. Yeah. That's better. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. I've got like weird RF in my guitar signal. It's like farty sounding. Man, this place is fucking noise. Like I'm getting like in ear fucking weird shit too. Can you hear noise? Just a little bit. Let me know how that sounds, and then we'll switch back to the Explorer after we're done with this. You all know oh, Jeff. Hey. Hi. <laughs> It's me, Jeff. I've been giving Jeff music theory lessons mm -hmm. in our spare time, teaching him about modal mixture, mm, I like that. flat two, you know, flat six major, all these borrowed chords, really intense stuff, and you're doing great. Hey, thanks. But I'm a drummer, and I think that that stuff really is, it works synergistically with my drumming and just my understanding of music in general. It's huge. Yeah. And I feel like what you're teaching me is going to fundamentally change how I think about music. Totally. It's nice to know the, the theory behind stuff, right? Yeah, and like, my theory is, for a drummer, it's pretty, it's all right. For a drummer. <laughs> yeah. well. So, having what you're teaching me in my brain, and it's just pickling right now, it's, it's groundbreaking. And it's super important, and it makes me wonder why everybody doesn't learn this in the way that you're teaching it to me. Don't forget to buy the album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, just gonna sign a few thousand albums now. Let's do this. Taking a pre-show walk, getting some fresh air here. Uh, I didn't get too much sleep last night. I only slept like two or three hours, so I'm a little loopy today. Um, just haven't been sleeping too well on the bus, you know, when we're driving and the bus is rocking. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's kind of hard to fall asleep. So I've been a little sleep deprived on this tour. Um, but, you know, the excitement of the shows gets me through it. Anyways, it's just about time for the show here. So I'm uh, gonna head back now and uh, start warming up, put my stage makeup on, all that stuff, and uh, go play the show. It's gonna be a good one. All right, so it just started raining. I kind of got caught in the rain on the way back to the venue, but uh, this funny thing happened. So this girl stopped me, and she's like, hey, uh, cool clothes. And I was like, oh, thanks. And she's like, are you here for the show? And I was like, yeah, here for the show. 
how about you? Which band are you here to see? And she's like, Blackfield Brides. And I'm like, nice. And she's like, yeah, you know, you kind of dress like the singer in that band. And I was like, oh, cool. Actually, people tell me I kind of look like the bass player in the band. And uh, she's like, oh, nice. And I was like, yeah, well, we'll see you inside. So anyway, she's going to see me on stage and be like, oh, that's the guy I was talking to. <laughs> so I think it's kind of funny. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, time to go play the show. Let's do this. I gotta show you something, so. Oh, okay. The amp goes to 11. Sick. Yeah. It's great, right? Cause like. It means it's one louder. Yeah, cause if you're on 10 and everything's on 10, where do you go? You, you, you just go one more. Yeah, now you got 11, so you can go one more. You got that one extra notch. Well, you have six extra notches because they all go to 11. That's six more. It's great, yeah. It's pretty amazing. Pretty sweet. What's even cooler though? It's a cooler. It's a, yeah, it's a cooler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the show was pretty good tonight. Um, great time, you know. Crew's loading out now. Got confetti all over the floor here. And uh, you know, I just love playing in these majestic, larger than life theaters. Such an honor, you know. They, they don't make them like this anymore. Just so beautiful. This place here tonight is almost 100 years old. It was built in 1928. I read, so you can only imagine what kind of, you know, rock and roll royalty is performed on that stage there. So, you know, it's cool to be able to play in these types of rooms, definitely. Anyways, guys, I'm Lon Eagleton. Appreciate you watching another episode. We're driving overnight to Columbus now for our next show there tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode of the tour vlog. Take care.